Hello and welcome to Stellaris. I'm Naked Fanatic and today we're gonna try the new update and the new DLC, the story pack, Leviathan. And yeah, they've added so many new things into this. Uh, <laughs> I can't really count them all because there's so much, but you probably know what it all is anyways. Uh, well, the big things I know is that, for example, the Fallen Empires, they, uh, they they can demand things from you, or you can they, they can ask you questions. They're, they they communicate a lot more. They're not not just like a huge empire that just sits there and don't do anything until you like attack them. Now they actually interact with people, and also they can end up in a war with each other, the Fallen Empires, and that is a, a war of heaven, I think. I think it's called the War of Heaven. And that means that you can decide which side you will stand on. Or if you want to be like non-aligned and try to survive that way. This is one of the things. And there's enclaves in this game. There is... There's some other things like... It's a lot harder to find planets to... To colonize. I think you always start off with two in your system though. Around your system. That you can colonize. So we have a 12 size over here. It's pretty good. I played a little bit and I noticed that... Let's just start this. I uh, noticed that... It's a lot harder to... Get a lot of resources. Like, th there's not a lot of resources in every solar system. It's very few. That, that's kind of interesting. So it's a lot harder to get, like, those huge... Um... Navies. I think that... They made it that way, because... Otherwise, I could, I could be, like, this big. And I could... Beat... The uh, Fallen Empires, like nothing, because uh, I could have like 20 planets in this area or something, like even more, and uh, yeah, I could I could have like a huge name and just destroy everyone. I capped out on minerals and energy all the time. You, you probably noticed the same uh, yourself when you were playing. It, it just, yeah, it used to become too OP too soon, so I think you, they have nerfed everybody except the Fallen Empires. Because uh, they have those insane planets. Anyway, so... Also, another thing. Uh, you can start off with different planet sizes. I'm very lucky and I started off, with, started off with 20, which is really good. They've also changed the... The ethics, like how, what they actually do. As you can see here, the individualists. They decrease the policy happiness impact. Which means, for example, if there is a, another alien that is... Uh, there's different views than me. Uh, they're, they're gonna have unhappiness, but this decreases it by 20%. The individualist also increases the migration attraction. So, for example, if I have um, a, a deal with another empire that doesn't have individualists, that means there's a higher percentage or a higher chance that his people will go to my land, which can be really interesting. Uh, and it makes the individualists so much better. They, they weren't good before, there were like no point in having them. The slave empires were a lot better, like a lot. There was no point in going these guys, because if you had slaves you could just dominate everybody. Now you can actually play as these. Uh, and a fanatic materialist also e decreases the building cost, which is really good for us since our home planet uh, is so big, we can build so much stuff. I think it also decreases the cost of these. Maybe not. I'm pretty sure this is the same cost, but I can, these buildings are a lot cheaper. 15%, which is kind of nice. They've also changed the interface. I'm just going, uh, like, I, I go as I see it. Uh, I don't remember everything, but I, I recognize if there's some differences, and I will talk about that. Uh, I won't cover everything, but you, you probably know a lot more than I do uh, out of these things. Uh, but here is, they've made it a lot easier. So the most important ones is like contacts, which is like diplomacy and everything. And then we have the situation log, which is your quests, really important to find quickly. 
and the technology, of course, also really important. And then they have put everything else in these, so instead of me like going into like for example contacts and then having a lot of other stuff down here that I could click between it didn't make much sense it was really hard to find everything as well and a few of these categories didn't really fit with the subcategories which was kind of strange so what they've done now they put all those things you don't go into that often and put into this they've also added new new things for example I think the expansion planner maybe not the station name I guess but, as you can see here, you can go, like, all the planets you, fi you find, you, c you can go in here and say like, Oh, I wanna look at all the planets that has minimum 60% inhabitability. And they will pop up here, and you can see them, and you can just like, Oh, I wanna colonize this one. Or you can just click on it, and it will zoom into where it is. It is so helpful, because before, you could just like, you sit sat like this, and you just, Oh, this one is 12, uh, this one is 19, you just go around doing that, and trying to remember where it was and everything, it was so annoying. But with this, you can see uh, all of them, and you can just like uh, click on which one has most energy, which one has most food, and stuff like that, or at least depending on how you want to search for it, and the size, everything. It's so, so good. Also, on the right here, you can see rally points. That is so helpful. I think that's the best thing <laughs> of this whole update. It was so annoying when you had like a navy of like a hundred thousand and you were building ships all over the place and you wanted them to like go to one place. I, I know that I I just stopped building uh, ships in different kind of places because it was so annoying clicking on them all and like oh go here and then I go to gotta go into this and tell them to like go right next to my navy and then click on all of them and click G to, to put them all together to merge them. And I was hideous to sit and do that all the time. But now what they've done is, these are rally points, so if, for example, my navy is standing in this area, and I make uh, ships in the spaceport here, they will go to the ship. They will merge with the ships. But, for example, if I have my navy somewhere else, they will go to the planet and merge in that, which is kind of nice. I think that is how it works. If someone knows that I'm wrong, just tell me. <laughs> Cause I wanna, I wanna, uh, I don't wanna trick you in any way. I think, maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit. But uh, I'm gonna look at here, leader ex experience gain. Let's see, actually I, might, I probably should show you what I went for. There you there go. Uh, I went really uh, research heavy on this one. For example, I went for intelligence, or intelligence, which is kind of obvious. This is nerfed. Wasn't it 15% before? Maybe. I don't know. But I went also went for sedentary, or sedentary, I don't know how to pronounce it. But the reason is because uh, I will move people, they, they will move freely, I won't have any um, power over them, they, they will do whatever. And it decreases the migration speed, but that's, that doesn't really matter. They're still working on the place while they're trying to move. They will just jump over instantly, pretty much. Um, deviant, 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 I think. And that increases the ethics divergence. And still, that's another thing. I, I don't care. Um, my people will be different. I don't care about that. Doesn't matter. So I picked it to use to get another point. Uh, enduring, because I want uh, leaders to live longer, uh, which means they will have more research speed, like this, and they will have like a, uh, the maximum one for a lot longer, which means more research speed, and that will help me uh, along a lot. Uh, where was I? There we go. <laughs> um, so also went for this one. Quick learners is 25% more leader experience gain. Same reason. I want my scientists to be super good. And we're also... Let's see. Didn't I pick something else as well? I think... No, maybe that was a government thing. No? I thought I picked something to make my people have one more level. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. Ok, 
Okay. W why do I? Uh, I know. I, I know. I picked something. I don't remember what though. I'll probably figure it out later on. Uh, but the first thing I'm gonna do is go into more and going into policies, and I'm going to click encourage three free thought. And the reason is because I want more research speed and ethics divergence. We don't care about that. Let's go for it. It's fine. Let's see, we're peaceful. Leadership, primary species only, sure. Voting rights. I think I'm gonna change this one. Primary species only. The right to vote is a serious responsibility and must remain inc exclusive to our primary species. Maybe. Free votes. The rule of our empire should reflect the will of the people and they must all be part of the process. So this will make everyone, like, doesn't matter who you are, you can you can vote. I think I wanna hand that. I don't think my, pe my people will care about that. They are very... Uh, they don't really care. No, they don't. Our president, Rizomo Silver. Cool. Yeah, and the Gore Commonwealth. I don't know. I was trying to find a cool... Uh, fantasy science science fiction name, and that's what I went with. Yes, ten percent more happiness. That's cool. And leader, <laughs> leader of life fan. That doesn't do much though, because I'm an indirect <laughs> democracy. He will get unelected later, anyway. So, well, we maybe. What is the next one? I want to know what that is. The upgrade. Okay, now I'm gonna. Choose my tech. Let's see. There, there we go. Look at that. So much uh, research speed already. Okay, what we're gonna go for first, I think, is the solar panel network. Uh, I'm, I don't know if I should go for colony ship. If I should be fast with that. Maybe I should. Because uh, there's so... F well, there's few, fewer planets, but if I end up next to a neighbor, I want to be able to colonize that place early. I can't just... Uh, put outposts all over the place. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the colony ship first, just to be sure. Okay, we are very scientific, so I think I'm gonna go for the engineering facility right away. Because that will be a good mix with the solar panel network, so I can make... Uh, get more research and still keep up in the energy. So that's what I'm gonna do. There we go. Okay, I think we've done everything we can do in the beginning. Actually, I'm gonna tell you to make food. And tell you to make food. So we get more people quickly. Since everything costs so little for us, it's fine. Okay, let's unpause and put it on fastest. So we can get something going here. Okay, actually, I'm gonna tell my military ship and just do this. I almost always do this just to see what uh, what things lie in here. There we go. Because they will just go in and go out, go in and go out and they won't uh, end up in a fight. Hopefully. If the enemy isn't yet right at the edge where we are. Like, I just want to see where their enemies, because this one will notice that, and I don't have to, like, send my side ship. Yeah. And my side ship won't need to, like, go into this, like, oh, there's an enemy here, I have to go back now. Oh, 5%, that's fine. Okay, now we can build this. Build mining station. Yay. We're doing good. Okay. Let's see. What's this? The Aration Concordat. We have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on fruitful endeavor. From what we have translated so far of the language, we have learned that these aliens called themselves the Aration Concordat. Uh, they were an interstellar power that held sway over this region of the galaxy a little over a million years ago. That's that's That wasn't yesterday. They appear to have been a six-limbed Mammalians, and uh, there are several references in some sort of play called Javorian Pox, which swept across their empire with devastating results, possibly leading to their extin extinction. Extinction. Situation log updated. Cool. 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 People dying. Cool. Construction complete. Oh, the mining station. Construction. Oh yeah, complete. they're the one. Ooh, actually, I have two things in here now, and they're still going. Cool. 
I played a little bit before and I noticed that like yeah that the resources were horrible in that one. I had uh, two energy in my my home place. That was it. That's pretty bad. Pretty pretty bad. Okay. I like these um, planetoid guys though. These look cool. I should th these because well, look oh Jesus. That's a lot of resources. Construction complete. Yeah, he's keep going. Um. Uh, oh, actually, can't right now. System survey. Complete. Alien vessel. Situation Encounter. log updated. Alien vessel. Oh, there's the other planet. I think. Oh, there's a twenty-one. I think I'm gonna go for that one quite early. Okay, sign ship. Go to Morgard. Sounds. Sounds like something from, from Vikings or something. Morgard. Okay, uh, you can't do much right now, but what else was it? There's some minerals as well, okay. Well, we want to get the energy, so we have that on a plus or above zero. One surplus. There you go, it's already three. That's probably why I have such an easy time uh, uh, researching the anomalies. Like, now as well. Yeah, research by 50% and fail risk minus 25. This guy is gonna be able to research every single ano anomaly we find. What? Ship under attack. Jesus. I have to find, where the hell is this? Is it my home planet? Yeah, it is. This is bad. Can, can you flee? Why do I have two ships? Did I get one? Can I try to fight him or something? Special project complete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Hello. Yeah, um, you're religious. That's not good. Our citizens all send their regards. Oh, or our citizens. Okay. First alien encounter. Cool. Uh, centuries ago, a group of radical priests and their devoted followers on blood broke away from the established regions to form their own church. These extremists call themselves the Great Disciples. Disciples, sorry for that. I don't know how to say that word. Uh, have been responsible for many atrocities and acts of terror over the years. Although they have kept a low profile in modern times, we recently learned that many of their agents have infiltrated our military. These renegades have secretly been diver diverting resources to the construction of a small fleet of starships at a hidden facility on Blood. When their treachery was revealed, the cultists blasted into orbit on their ships and fled to beauty. Okay. Situation log updated. So, uh, let's build some ships. Uh, more corvettes. There you go. This is strange. This is really strange. You're close to me. I don't like you. You don't like me, do you? No, you don't. You're gonna be more rival, I guess, then. Yep. Screw you! <laughs> You're religious. Stupid creationists. Okay. Let's just build these for a while so we can destroy these guys. System survey complete. Yeah, I, I, God damn it, I lost it. Lost my construction ship as well. That sucks. Oh, well, uh, I will build that after I kill these guys. Or me, my ship's so bad. Really? Oh, okay. Where are you going here then? Weirdo. Construction complete. Okay. Uh, I think we have. Big enough navy now. Let's see. Uh, let's go for this one. Emergency FTL damage, combat speed. Does that mean they shoot quicker? What's this then? Leader experience again. I'm gonna gain a lot of anyway, so I don't think it really matters. Palace of Orange. Cool. Attack him. Slow the speed. I want to see this battle. I think they've they added some uh, 
effects. Uh, I saw it on one of the screenshots. That's cool. Yeah, I think it's a lot more glow in the laser at least. Did we shoot down their missiles they shot at us? We destroyed them like nothing. Situation log updated. There's still a ship there. Is that a glitch? I think it is. Are we gonna have him there forever? I think we will. <laughs> okay then. Cool. Uh, yeah, we nearly didn't get damaged at all. Yeah, they got a few shots at us with the lasers, but nothing else. Wait, did it flee? It says that one out of three died. Oh, that was, was that another match? Oh, they lost one with the spaceport. And they lost one now. Okay, so there is one left. But it isn't left there. It's... I'm confused. Yeah, it's still it's still present, but will this will the science ship act weird? No, doesn't look like it. It will go. Okay, I'm gonna keep it up fast. It seems like I can't keep up <laughs> with everything happening. But the first thing we'll still do when we can is build another goddamn construction ship. Jesus. And you build. Or science things. Yeah. Get quite a lot of research from these. We're gonna get even more. We build now? No, oh, yeah, I built something, so I have to wait for a while. Maybe I should not build it right now then. Yes, let's cancel that and build a construction ship first. I think that's best. Do do do. Okay, I think this is a glitch. But I think I'm gonna end the episode right here anyways. And we'll see if this fixes it if I restart. I hope it does, because it's quite annoying having an enemy here all the time. <laughs> oh well, and I will see you in the next episode. And give a like if you liked it. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next time. Bye-bye.